Hi guys, I'm sure you've all heard the phrases software development and web development. And I wouldn't be surprised if you use them interchangeably or even mistook a software developer for a web developer. Well, let me break your bubble. They are different. So hey everyone, welcome to another live session by Simply Learn. Today's topic of discussion is software developer versus web developer. But before we begin, I'd like to thank all our viewers for actively participating in these sessions. I'd also like to welcome everyone joining in from Facebook. Uh, so let's wait for a while for more people to tune in. At any point during the session, if you have any questions, let us know in the chat section. One of our team members will get back to you immediately. So whilst we're at it, if you haven't subscribed to our channel already, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. That being said, I think we should begin now. So here's what's in store for us today. First, we'll understand who a web developer is. And then we'll see who a software developer is. Later, we'll compare the two on the basis of their prowess or their skill set, the type of product they build, product compatibility, learning curve, job titles, and salary and also at the end I'll help you with which career path to choose so moving ahead who is a web developer now a web developer builds and maintains websites and other web applications he takes web design and turns it into a website web developers are responsible for how a website or web application looks and functions from its user interface and page layout to backend systems for gathering data. A web developer is expected to collaborate with clients, stakeholders, and organization leaders to design unique and engaging websites for businesses, nonprofits, government agencies, and anyone else who's looking to communicate more effectively online. So diving a bit deeper, a web developer can specialize in different areas based on their skill. You have the front-end developers. Now these are experts who are in charge of how websites and applications look and function from the user's perspective. Next, there are back-end developers who focus on the technical aspects of websites and web applications that support both basic and advanced functionality. Now, they largely work on administrative components, which include databases, website architecture, application logic, creating new APIs, and user interfaces based on predefined specifications. And lastly, there are full-stack developers who are professionals responsible for the development of an application from start to finish. They specialize in both front-end and back-end of the application development. Typically, a web developer should have good skills in various frameworks and markup languages like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, React.js, Angular, and database management systems like MongoDB, and backend tools like Node. So I hope this helped you understand who a web developer is, some of their responsibilities, and their basic skill set. Next up, let's understand who a software developer is. Now, software developers are responsible for creating more complex applications and programs for computers and mobile devices. They create, conceptualize, program, document, test, and upgrade software and their components. Software developers invent, manage, and optimize 
computer programs that run on desktops, laptops, smartphones, and other mobile devices. These computer science professionals write complex code that governs how desktop applications function. They also specialize in troubleshooting code bugs, updating user interfaces, creating new tools, and much more. Just like web developers, professionals in this field are often categorized into specific roles based on their specializations. We have the application software developer and the system software developer. Now, an application software engineer is a professional who focuses on designing specific desktop and mobile applications, tools, and games for consumer audiences. And a system software developer is largely concerned with designing systems level software for enterprise customers rather than the public. The software they develop is used to manage corporate network apps, database management systems, and other critical infrastructure. Talking about their desirable skills, they need to be proficient in programming in the field of JavaScript, Java, C Sharp, PHP, Python, and Ruby. They must also have a good understanding of operating systems, network, and database management. So now, moving on to the main topic of discussion, software developer versus web developer. First, let's compare the two based on their prowess or area of expertise. A software developer is associated with developing products that can be run on multiple systems. This product could be any kind of software. Their area of work includes requirement analysis, planning, coding, testing of applications, implementation, deployment, and maintenance. Talking about web developers, they are responsible for the development of websites. They are also expected to follow the process of the software development lifecycle while building their products. Next up is the type of product. Now, a software developer creates programs for standalone desktop or mobile platforms. On the other hand, a web developer takes care of the web framework, server-side functions, API integration, and the business logic. The third point of comparison is product compatibility. Now, software development applications are compatible across multiple operating systems or platforms. The web applications, on the other hand, are designed to be compatible across multiple web browsers. Next up is the learning curve. Well, software engineering never focuses exclusively on coding. However, you should know at least a couple of languages and a deeper understanding of how they function. Some of the languages that you should be proficient in include Java, C Sharp, Python and some of its libraries and frameworks, JavaScript and Ruby among others. A web developer should be familiar with markup languages like HTML, CSS, JavaScript libraries and frameworks like React and Angular. He should also have a good hold of backend frameworks like Python Django and Node. The next parameter is the job title. Now, there are different job titles for these professions. Some of them for software development are software developer, software engineer, junior software developer, senior software developer, and a software architect. On the other hand, a web developer could receive titles like front-end developer, back-end developer, full-stack developer, or just a web developer. Now, of course, companies have discretion over assigning these job roles to their employees. Lastly, let's look at the job outlook and salaries. Now, the job growth projections for software developers are even more optimistic than those for web development roles. Alongside promising job growth, software developers also have higher salaries than other IT professionals. Now, the average salary of a software developer in the US is around 76,000 US dollars per annum and the average salary of a software developer in India 
is around 5 lakh Indian rupees per annum. For a web developer, the average salary in the US is around 68,000 US dollars per annum and in India it's around 4 lakh Indian rupees per annum. Now I'm sure you must be confused as to which one to choose. Well, to be frank, it's just a matter of preference. If you have strong knowledge of data structures, file systems, algorithms, source control, operating and network systems, then software development would be a better choice. But if you have creative ideas for websites, love designing them, have a good understanding of HTML and CSS, and ultimately the knack to integrate your design ideas to create responsive user interfaces, then a web development role could be a good career path. Then web development could be a better career path to choose. So with that, we end this live session. I hope it helped you. If you think we missed out on something important, let us know in the comment section. Thank you so much for being here and watch out for more videos from us. Until then, keep learning and stay tuned to Simply Learn.